All right, this is Matthew Matt, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the Common Core Standards for Mathematics, and in particular what they say the big ideas are in uh, third grade. So they talk about four critical areas for third grade mathematics. The first one is multiplication and division. The second is area. We talk about inter introductory fraction concepts, and finally thinking about shapes. We're going to start with multiplication and division, and I'm just going to give a quick overview of sort of the big ideas or how we might think about these concepts and what we want kids to know. So there are lots of ways to think about multiplication, and I want to highlight three ways that are particularly important in third grade. So the first is uh, a problem like this, and it's a common problem. It's one of the first kinds of problems kids often get when they're thinking about multiplication in school. I have three boxes. Each box has five tiles. How many tiles do I have? A strategy a lot of kids might use is to draw the three boxes. These are like three groups of things, and then each box has five tiles in it, which the kid might draw, and they might count by ones, or they might skip count five, 10, 15. Kids might do something similar if they have blocks where they put the blocks in different piles. Um, so this is a problem. I'm going to push this strategy off to the side. This is a problem where, um, again, we have some groups and a certain amount of things in each group. And that's one of the most common ways to think about multiplication in the early grades. I want to talk about our second problem, which is I lay tiles in an array with three rows and five columns. How many tiles do I have? So we might draw a picture that looks something like this. And we might notice that each row has five tiles in it. So I can think of these as 5, 10, 15 again. And kids need to have opportunities to make a connection between this kind of problem and the one just before it. Where here we can think of the rows as the groups, or we could flip it and think of the columns as groups and count by threes. All right, so I'm going to push that one off to the side, and we'll do our third kind of problem, which is area. And really that's one of the things we're trying to build to in third grade is to think of area and its relationship to multiplication. So my floor is three feet by five feet. How many square feet is it? So I've got my floor. And a lot of you probably learned a formula in school for how to find the area of a rectangle, which is length times width. And I want to talk about what, where that formula comes from and what it really means. So one way to think about that is that when I measure this side as three feet long, what I'm measuring is how many rows can fit inside that rectangle. How many rows of squares and when I measure it the other way I'm figuring out how many of those squares the square feet fit inside each row and now this problem looks a lot like the one before it we can think of it kind of as a three by five array and kids really need opportunities to make connections between this kind of problem and the array problem that came right before it uh, this is one of the areas where we start to lose kids in math. They start to learn all these formulas for shapes and they sort of become these magical memorized formulas and it's not clear where they came from. And what we really want to do is make sure they understand where did this formula come from, why does it make sense, um, and how is the formula basically just a shortcut for counting how many squares, in this case they're square feet, fit inside of our shape. Finally, if we want to think about division, we can work with these same kinds of stories and contexts and situations. We just change what's not known. So for instance, in that first problem, I might say I have 15 tiles and I have three boxes and I want to put the tiles in each box equally. How would I do that? Um, so we can use these same problems, these same stories, and draw pictures and use blocks and manipulatives, and kids can work with both multiplication and division.